Hey, hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ken and I'm on a journey to lose as much weight as I possibly can so I can become a fat guy no more. Well, this video is going to kick off a series of videos. Um, it's my, for lack of a better term, my couch to 5K. Um, I'm not necessarily following the couch to 5K program, um, but it is essentially what I'm doing. Actually, more accurate would be flat out laying in bed to a 5k. As I've mentioned um, in past videos, I, um, I registered uh, for my, myself and my bestie to walk our first 5k um, coming up uh, in October. So I have 33 weeks, 33, 33 weeks, 33 weeks to get ready for it. And uh, that's what I'm doing. So in this first video of the series, um, it's gonna it's gonna show what they're pretty much gonna be like um, throughout. I'm gonna talk about my walks and anything else that I did to get ready for that. And uh, so yeah, let's just jump on in. So my goal for each week is at least two to three walks of 20 to 30 minutes long. Um, that's where I want to be uh, starting out at, at least for the first couple months. I think eight, ten, maybe twelve weeks I don't know we'll have to see how I feel honestly when uh, once I'm doing it um, but I feel that just getting started um, back into exercise just getting started really moving like this now granted I've gone to games and I've I've done other things you betcha uh, you know trips and stuff I did my route 66 trip that I talked about in the past video but there wasn't a whole lot of walking. And when I was walking, it was really short term. There was a lot of sitting down, to be honest. Um, so it really wasn't exercise. It was moving, but it wasn't, it wasn't moving like this. And I hope that makes sense, right? I mean, you think, oh, wow, look at all that he's done. Well, yes, look at all that I have been able to do. That I don't argue with. But this is a completely different kind of moving. This is, you know, on purpose <laughs> this is to attempt to do something different and that is to build leg strength to build strength in my entire body and once I get to that point losing weight um, I've got to make sure that all of those things come together so I can be ready for that 5k so my first walk um, numero uno that I'm counting is the one that I did when I just got so pissed off um, after my, uh, my appeal for coverage of ZetBound was denied. That's the one where I felt so much anxiety that I just had to get out and move. I had to just do something. I thought it was gonna explode. So I went for a walk around my neighborhood um, and that one is what I'm calling number one. Let me actually, I'm gonna have to go to, uh, you know, to my phone to take a look at the, the details on that. Um, it was, a 0.95 mile walk, 42 minutes and 26 seconds. Um, that one um, felt amazing afterwards, honestly. Um, but again, I was running on pure adrenaline. Um, I was pissed off and I just, just walked. I just went. I wasn't even really thinking about much other than the music that was blasting in my ears. And I just wanted to get that energy out of me to get that anxiety gone um, looking back on it it really wasn't that good of a walk I say that because um, it was tough um, the way my body felt um, how bad I hurt the next few days afterwards and I, it didn't take me long to realize a I have a horrible pair of shoes for walking like that and B, walking around our neighborhood, they have sidewalks and you're supposed to walk on the sidewalks, but then on the sidewalks, as you get to where people park, it's kind of slanted. So you have to kind of walk, you know, at an angle. That tears up my lower back and legs. I have braces on both of my legs, if you didn't know. Um, for those that haven't been following me uh, since day one, um, I used to have for years, I had just a brace on my right leg um, it was uh, because I blew out discs in my lower back, had to have surgery. This was back in 1998, so I've had it for, for just, a, just a little bit of time. Um, and then just over about a year and a half ago, 
I had to get one on my left foot. Um, it comes up to the calf, above the calf, so it's only about yay far or whatever below the knee. Um, so I've got one on both. Um, and so it keeps your foot flat. So when you have to do an angle like that, whether it's uphill, downhill, or at a slant like a driveway, it ain't good. I mean, it hurts. It hurts bad and it causes me to lose balance. But what else am I gonna do? I mean, I've got, uh, got the neighborhood to walk, so I have to do it. That slows me down, that makes me hurt more, but you kinda gotta do it, right? So that walk overall, while it was a good amount of time, wasn't, wasn't really that great, but it's the one that kick-started everything. It is the one that made me decide, okay, if my insurance isn't gonna help me, I'll just do it on my own. And I'll set up that 5K and I'll, I'll effectively show them by me being able to lose the weight and get healthier and do these things whether they wanna help me or not. Walk number two, yeah, it came just three days later uh, again, uh, around my neighborhood, I have a huge, huge neighborhood that I live in. It's uh, almost like a gated community, but without the gate, honestly, it's, it's quite quiet. There isn't a whole lot of traffic unless you live in here. Um, and again, sidewalks everywhere. But one thing I did notice too on this walk, I went a different direction than I did the first one, was that the sidewalks suck. There are a lot of places where the roots from the trees have pushed them up. So you could have, you know, gaps like this to catch a toe on if you're not really paying attention. Um, now, of course, me with whatever's going on with my head, my ears, um, it's, it's really hard to do anything other than look down. So I kept focusing on the ground right in front of me because whenever I would look up, everything would just, whoa you know, start to spin and I would have to slow down and or come to a stop. There was a couple times that I had to hold on to a fence or onto a tree to keep everything from spinning. Um, so that wasn't that good of a walk either. <laughs> and <laughs> it was cold. I wasn't expecting that. The previous walk that I did was 89 degrees when I went out. It was, it was almost too hot. Um, this one I knew would be cooler but I wasn't expecting the wind. The wind made it just brutal. I don't know what it was, It was, but it was cold. I mean, it was really cold. So there I am in my shorts and a, and a shirt, and it, it wasn't a whole lot of fun. But I ended up doing three quarters of a mile, 0.75, it says, in 33 minutes and 37 seconds. So not too bad, but uh, nothing spectacular. Um, but I was glad again to have that one done. Two days after that, I was stuck with a dilemma. Um, do I go for my walk and potentially hurt so bad that I can't go to Costco? Um, I, there was a few things I wanted to go look at there. Um, so what did I do? Well, I, I combined them. I decided that I would go to Costco and walk at as good of a pace as I possibly could. First thing I did, I got to Costco and I parked almost as far away from uh, the front door as I could. Um, as you can see in this video, I am I'm quite a distance, especially for me. I do have a handicap placard, so I could have parked almost next to the door, but I chose to park further away um, to help me get a few extra steps in going and coming back to the car. So um, that was a, a big choice, something that I've never done before. So that really helped too. Um, and then just going in and walking around Costco, the one thing that I really noticed when I was done is how level their floors are compared to my neighborhood. It was a great walk. And even with having to stop and, and slow down for people, you know, groups of people in certain areas, you know, around there and grabbing different things. Like I got some dog food and just, you know, some veggies, got some asparagus, stuff like that. Whenever I had to slow down to do those things, it, of course makes the pace of my time go a little bit longer, but I still ended up doing great. It shows that I did 0.93 of a mile walk um, in 39 minutes and 21 seconds, which put me on a mile pace of 42 minutes and 17 seconds. Um, that's the best pace, mile pace, that I've had of my three walks so far. And again, I have no doubt that the bulk of that was simply because 
it's a level ground walking around the warehouse. Um, even, even with having to slow down so much, I couldn't just go, right? Um, so that was great. So those were my three walks for this week. Um, overall, I feel pretty good. I'm kind of, uh, kind of happy with, with the way they went. Um, next week, uh, I'll start off and, and do pretty much the same thing. Like I said, for the next several weeks, I'm going to try to do two to three walks of, uh, of, you know, 20 to 30 minutes a day. And uh, we'll see how, see how it goes. Um, I might, might venture down by the lake. I don't know. We'll see. Eventually. I'm not, uh, I'm not one yet that, you know, likes walking uh, for exercise in front of other people. I feel a little... Like they're watching me like, what's this guy out here doing this? He is way beyond anything that could help him, you know, looking at me my weight wise. And they have no clue how far I've come. But still, I just, those peering eyes, I just, I don't know. We'll see. Either way, I like the way I've done it so far. Um, especially being able to combine uh, my walk with Costco like that. That really felt great because I did cover a pretty good distance uh, in that time frame. And so can't complain about that. But that's week one. Um, we got a long ways to go. I appreciate you coming by and checking out this video and, and rooting me on. So, hey, as always, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to follow me on my journey to become a fat guy no more, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell so you can get notifications every time I upload a new video. Centered a little bit here. Fresca. Zero calorie. Little sodium. Not too bad. Good stuff. Especially really cold. Not sponsored.